thank you for uh, joining us today. Um, you know, excited to spend uh, a few minutes to give you an introduction to Red Team and what we do uh, as an organization. Uh, obviously, thrilled to work with with Action, um, something that we you know have been you know, very proud of the relationship. A great group of professionals, we know their stuff. Uh, obviously, decades of industry experience, thousands of customers, so couldn't be happier of the relationship that we've established here, um, and I'm sure you are as well. You know, I'm going to spend a little moment to kind of go over uh, a slide talking a little bit about, you know, who Red Team is, you know, how, how the product has been designed, what we think about. But the gist of it is, you know, we think about construction as this, you know, an industry that's really complex, has a ton of risk, uh, and then what we focus on is providing clients with, you know, great document control, financial management, as well as collaboration, you know, for the field, uh, you know, really, really an important element to Red Team. Um, most of our clients tend to be general contractors, uh, simply based on the way the software is designed and the desire of the risk management element that they have. Simply put, you know, the, the GC owns the risk of the project, you know, it's the first in line. And so, you know, they hire the subs, they have to manage the performance and control all the cash flow. Um, and so this is what we build Red Team. You know, it's a collaboration platform for commercial GCs. Um, the, I think the number one thing to know about the company is that we're born out of a construction company. We are construction professionals. We're not software guys that are trying to tell construction companies how to do their business. Uh, Mike Wright, who is the founder and CEO of Red Team, is a general contractor uh, for uh, actually 23 years. We built Red Team within our company uh, to, to run our business more efficiently. It has tremendous impact on the business, and eventually we spun out Red Team as a product for other uh, businesses to use as well. So we were definitely born out of construction. Red Team is largely built around contract formation. Uh, you will find that the, the platform is really designed to help you create your contract form and manage everything from that point forward, but we'll also help you with your estimating, bid management, gain scheduling, uh, so a very broad platform. But when you think about the problems we solve is the risk around, you know, incomplete contract documents, you know, communication breakdowns that occur on the job site, documentation not being tracked properly, and information silos, you know, oftentimes between accounting and the construction team, the information doesn't flow quite as well as it could, and, and there's some opportunities there to get some streamline and gain in productivity for, for the organization. So what we've done is we have some templates management to help on the contract documents. Uh, so all the contracts can be formed in Red Team and visible to everybody, even when they're in the, in, in the formation process. Uh, we have interactive sharing. We'll talk about the collaborative console within the application as well as capturing all the metadata with every document. Uh, the metadata is a huge element of Red Team because, you know, disputes will, will occur. And, and so helping having the right information to know, well, who saw the document, when was it seen, what was said as the documentation was being created is really valuable data, uh, especially in the course of a dispute. And obviously the information silo largely solved with the accounting integrations with, in particular, Sage 100, Sage 300, so that the information can navigate between the two systems uh, based on what your workflows are. Uh, there's, a, there's a fair amount of flexibility within the platform there. When we think about Red Team, the way we built it, you know, initially was really connecting the fields to the office. So, you know, until mobile technology and cloud technology was really part of the marketplace, it was tough to do that. But today, it's, you know, available at all of our fingertips. So, you know, really helping the teams collaborate. Uh, so what happens in the field is instantly visible in the office, so decisions can be made quickly. Also, cost control, uh, a lot of deep budget management uh, functionality in, the, in, in Red Team, uh, managing all the contracts, obviously cost codes, you know, real-time platform. But the platform is really broad, you know, from business development, pre-construction, project management, construction financials. Um, we touched a lot of elements such as you know, your drawing management, your RFIs, submittal management, punch list daily reports, GAN scheduling, meeting minutes, uh, and of course budgets. Um, you can also do your invoice management if you choose to in Red Team. It's not required. Uh, a lot of the Red Team functions are fairly independent from one another. Um, I can tell you that you know, right now we serve roughly 500 GCs around, around the country. They range from about $3 million a year in business to somewhere around $700 million a year in business, so very broad range. No one uses Red Team quite the same way. Uh, the platform is really flexible that way. So it's a matter of you identifying what workflows are more critical, and then little by little using the platform more and more uh, in, in, your, in your business. 
We also offer mobile applications, obviously. Uh, field share on the right-hand side is what the general contractor team would use. Uh, that's where they can create their daily reports, uh, you know, doing observation, census tracking. The employees can also manage their time, manage their expenses there. Team player is the subcontractor collaboration application where the sub is able to view their contracts. They're able to actually build electronically in an AIA-style format directly to right team. This is why we develop invoice management, a uh, very seamless uh, process there. Um, and so that's been really effective. Some of the things we see our clients really like in the right team, a very deep uh, construction financial overview visible for the project management side of the team. So, you know, it, it, it really gives them a good sense of how the project is doing as far as the health of the project overall. Um, also, the collaborative console is another key element of the platform. Every document that Red Team shares and invites people to collaborate on is shared in the form of a URL sent in an email. You can open that email, that URL basically, and what you will see is exactly what you see here on the screen. You don't have to log into Red Team because that URL is unique to you. It knows who you are. And so you can start commenting on that document, have your questions, you can you know, create attachments. If you're the GC and you put a comment that you don't want anybody else to read, whatever that comment might be, you can make it company confidential. So only people with login access will be able to see those comments. And you can also forward that document, invite other people to collaborate uh, directly. So you know, really flexible space, but when you think about it, if we were to send those documents as email attachments, it's almost like a flying piece of paper in the back of a truck, right? You lose complete control over that document once you send it to an email. With Red Team, you never lose control of your documentation because people come in your platform and collaborate on that document directly. So it's a very effective way to never lose control of that documentation uh, during the project. What we see from our clients, uh, you know, a lot of gains around, you know, visibility. Um, a lot of our clients really are excited about the entire construction team. And it's at their discretion, uh, obviously, we have role-based access, uh, but being able to have more people see the information they need to see in real time, um, the ability to manage communication uh, with all the project participants. You can invite, you know, architects to collaborate, owners, subcontractors, and so forth, so you really have, you know, you control all of that. Um, also, change order management is a huge piece of writing that we do, I think, really well. Uh, but we'll also help you with your, in, you know, invoice approval process, you know, lean documentation, credential management, approval routing, owner billing, your know, progress, uh, progress billing, uh, AIS style format, of course. Um, but the number one thing we keep hearing from our clients, it, it helps lower the level of stress amongst the project team. You know, one of the things we have found is when the information is visible to everyone, there's a lot less room for arguing around did I know, did I not know. It's, you just can log into Red Team and you'll have access to the information. So you can get to the information very quickly. I mean, we have you know, north of 4,000 people every day logged into the platform using it. So you know, a, a very, very used platform uh, once it's a place in the company. What our clients tell us, uh, again, it's you know, they like having all the information in one place, uh, they're not searching in different folders and so forth. Um, being able to manage uh, at, at a cost that's really attractive. Um, a, a lot of, you know, in this case, it was a former Procore customer that, you know, was looking for a more affordable option. Um, but also, you know, the real-time aspect of it. We focus a lot on the speed of the software to ensure that, you know, you click on information and you can get to that information, you know, quite quickly uh, and, and see everything you need to see. So let me look uh, quickly in the software. So to give you a quick tour, of, of, of Red Team here. Um, actually, I logged into the wrong platform. So I've got multiple databases here, so I apologize here. So let me log back in to you. You can see how quickly the login takes place, as long as I've got the right password. I'm pretty sure I do. Um, so this is uh, the Red Team environment here that you're able to see on your screen now. Uh, I'm going to actually expand it so it looks a little cleaner. Um, so you get access to a dashboard that gives you a load of everything that is going on in the project. It's kind of a news feed, if you may. Uh, you have a pull-out menu here that will give you a sense of some key performance metrics. Again, you only see what you're allowed to see. So as you set up Red Team, you'll see the information that's only relevant to you and your role in the company. Uh, so the key financial metrics may not be visible to everybody. 
Um, when you click on your name here, you can access our help center. Um, you can access also your profile, your expense reports, and so forth. This would be uh, action items I've been assigned to me. This is for routing for approval. Could be contracts, could be invoices, and so forth that flow to me directly. Um, those are notifications that we have as well. And but what's really valuable here is also the what's new. About every three weeks, we add uh, new functionality. Um, so you know it's always good to go and take a look at this, and you can see the information of what's new. Um, I've disabled it, but there's a walk me feature that you can click on it, and it will walk you through whatever improvement we've made in the application. So you can see that very quickly. Um, you know, manage all the employees of the company with uh, some credentials. We talked about you know time and expenses are managed right here. You can also manage your equipment. We don't yet do equipment cost allocation. That's coming soon. Uh, but you can track your equipment, who's got it, what project it's on. You manage also all your vendors, customers, and third parties. Uh, one of the things we've spent a lot of time on is making sure that I can go look at a vendor and understand well, what is the nature of the depth of that relationship with that vendor. So from you know, a single screen, I can see you know, what commitments do I have. I could see what project they're working on. I could see access to the employees, either like lean law claim documentation I need to be aware of, are there invoices in process, where are they at, quotes that I've received, et cetera. So really easy for me to get to a lot of information in, in the platform. Opportunities is where I can actually manage projects. Um, you know, it's kind of a mini CRM, but the, the, the primary object is a, a, an actual project. So, hey, I know about this uh, apartment community. I know about this building coming up. I'm going to start chasing it. I can start building information there. Um, I can you know, filter what information is visible here, so I can have some, some dates on it. I can, I can track all of that dynamically. Um, and once actually that project is something that I say, you know what, we're going to bid this. It fits uh, the kind of project. I'll simply convert to a project right here. And now what it will do is it will convert all the information into my project tab. Now once in my project tab here, uh, you will see that um, I can access my project by my favorites, other projects. Again, I control the views. So this is my project dashboard right here. In this case, I've got a lot of financial display, but I may change, I may change it. You know, I want to see the you know, last submittal information, uh, last progress report that I've received. Uh, I want to see my RFIs, RFQs, whatever the case might be. You know, simply a few click of a button right here, and you can see it's dynamically moving right behind me here, and I can see all that information right here. So really easy for me to change things around. Clicking on the home button here, you can see the breadth of the platform. We just touched on that earlier, uh, but you can see it's, it's a very broad platform. Each project will receive its own online plan room, which can be secured or open. Uh, it's your choice on how you, you manage that. Um, you can also access project documents. Uh, all the documents loaded into the platform are organized in, in, in a folder system for you. Some quick links to some key reports as well. Um, so you know, very easy to travel to information. Each project has its own email address. So you can email into the platform, documents, attachments, things like that. So you can move that around the project very easily for you. So let me go into a project here. I'm not going to go through a full product demo. Uh, you know, our invitation is you know, we can do one-on-one -on -one demos that are more based on your needs. But I want to take a quick look over everything uh, so it gives you a sense of what the platform can do for you. Uh, the project metrics here, again, unique to the project. How are we doing overall? Um, the scope of the project is where I would manage my plans and specs, some defined uh, um, attribute of the project. Um, going to the scope here, because we manage all the financials, we also set up you know, your retainage. Uh, you, know, you can have your negotiated rates. Uh, so this when we do a change order. All of that will be managed directly. By app commitments, you can set up automatic alerts uh, for your GAN scheduling. Which days can you work? You can manage your holidays, so it's a very dynamic right here that you can organize automatic notifications, etc. Red Team will also help you with building your estimate. Um, a lot of clients use it. A lot of clients don't use it, quite frankly. There's a, a pretty good mix there. Uh, if you have your own estimate, a lot of you know, Sage users use Sage Estimator, you can easily import uh, an estimate into Red Team. And from that point forward, manage your request for quotes, uh, receive electronic bids from your vendors. So. You know, very simple environment to use from that perspective. All my contract management is here as well. Uh, in terms of the integration to Sage, uh, Red Team will actually create the commitments in Sage. 
will push the invoices, et cetera, directly into your ERP so you don't have to worry about the double entry and so forth. All of that goes away for you. Let me take a quick look at a change order to give you a little glance um, on how seamless that change order process is. So creating a change order is, is, is a huge element of construction that happens all the time. And so we've created this kind of a clear step, right? What steps are optional, which ones are, are required? Um, so you create your scope here. You could select affected vendors uh, that you may have um, for, for this. Plans and specs that you may attach to this. Will they supersede a set of plans and specs you already have? It would automatically catch that. Um, entering some cost estimate, you know, what, what you think is going to cost. So, you know, pretty straightforward here as far as what you can do. Um, the cost estimate is, is pretty broad in the sense that you can do your own assemblies in there. They can save them. You can, you know, roll up assemblies. You can also uh, automatically calculate all your supplemental markup and so forth so you don't forget to charge up. And we've had many clients that have reported to us that one of their cost centers is forgetting to put all their markups in a change order, for example. You're kind of hurrying up and you forget to add that extra couple of thousand dollars and you, you're kind of eating that money. With, with Red Team, you'll get, you'll get rid of all of that. Now, you've built your estimate, you've selected your vendors, you can request quotes, you'll be able to see the quotes you received here. You know, they're by cost quotes, they're broken up. So, you know, my concrete for the vault door here, I've got, you know, four quotes that I've sent. I've, I've, I haven't sent them all, but I've committed one right here. I can see it uh, and I can actually view the quotes here side by side of what I received. Our system will offer an automatic bid leveling, so you can see all of that detail dynamically. Um, once you've selected your quotes, you can actually let your commitments directly from that team, uh, but you can also access the change proposal and actually spin that directly to the client. So a, a very quick process to manage all your change orders uh, in the application um, and, and be able to send information to your customers. We're also integrated with uh, DocuSign, so you can send those um, proposals directly and have them signed uh, by DocuSign if, if you need to. See what I just did here. I don't want to mess myself up. All right, there you go. So I'll close this form right here. All right. Sorry. It's a, it's a, it's a user error on my side. Um, let me get back into there real quick. So once you've done all your, um, your project, you've issued your contracts and so forth, and you're able to start managing all your budgets, um, all, all of that, again, very well organized in the platform. You can see all that detail. Let me go back into the Daily Bugle project here. I apologize. That was on, that was on my side. I had two sessions open on another screen. So now I've got my detailed budget uh, for the project. All of that is complete dynamically. You know, it came from the estimate. My actuals will be the money that I've spent. Open items is the remaining elements of the commitments that I have left with my vendors. At risk is money I haven't spent yet, but I know I need to spend. And contingency is money I hope I don't have to spend. And you know, from there I can create a financial overview. Uh, I can look at my open commitments, et cetera. So a lot of details right there. The buyout is where I would manage all of my uh, vendor contracts. Also, um, I can do labor authorization, expense authorization. Um, I can go to my vendor invoices, um, manage my lien law documents, and manage also my vendor quotes right here. The billing would be for my owner billing, you know, self-explanatory, you know, AIA-style billing produced directly out of Red Team. And the dialogue is where I would manage my RFIs, for example. Uh, also, um, I can create a lot of you know, forms and documents that I can share uh, with, with my uh, clients, such as like notices and, and so forth right here, as you can see. And all of those can be created by you directly in the application. We'll help you during your setup to organize all of that. All my daily progress reports also organized here. I will tell you that one of the things we see a ton of positive reviews from uh, our, our clients is they love this function here. I can create a performance overview on the fly and actually, I'm not going to select everything, although it creates too big of a document, but I can see my contract changes. I could see, let's say, I want to see my schedule of value. I want to see my billing history with the owner. 
I want to see my progress reports, and let's do a couple of months of progress reports here. And maybe I look at this and I say, you know what, I don't want to show my near-miss accidents because that's part of the setups that I have. And now it creates a report on the fly that I can actually share with the owner with all that detailed information. A perfect way to send an update weekly to the owner without spending hours organizing photos, etc. Here's all my billing history. Here's all my progress reports that I've created and all the photos taken of the project during that period of time. So a very clean report that can be sent very easily. We also have an integrate GAN schedule tool, uh, very similar to Microsoft Project. Uh, if you use Microsoft Project and don't want to change, you can absolutely import from Microsoft Project or export to Microsoft Project, or this can be used as a standalone. Um, what's neat about this is that it gets published to the plan room, so it's always better if you, I think, keep it up to date and then you know, your team can actually access all of that. And then we have a complete submittal management uh, platform. Um, so in, in there is you know, very complete workflow as far as you know, there's a nine-stage process of the submittals that we have organized, uh, the submittals that are you know, just being created, um, committed, and requested, and you can send to the clients. You've submitted to the owner. The owner has answered. You've notified the vendor. Vendor has acknowledged, and you can see all that detail right here. Or if you want a different view, you can actually see the submittal item view right here and a new report gets built, and then you can see everything in the form of a dashboard, depending on what you're more comfortable with. Um, that's been important, uh, I think, in Red Team of people. Use software a different way, uh, and, it's, and it's really up to you on how you want to use it. So, you know, we've made the platform in a way that you can choose to use in whatever way is most comfortable for you. Um, a lot of configuration that can be created here, um, you know, the team at Action can absolutely help you with that uh, when, when you set up Red Team. So, you know, very straightforward, uh, creating, you know, some custom documentation, your cost codes, et cetera, can be organized. Um, the application integrations that we have as well, um, you know, we, we have uh, a fair amount of integrations, you know, the stage products being uh, at the center of all of that. Um, and so that's, that's kind of a, a good sense of where Red Team is at overall, and, and I'd love to answer, you know, any questions you may have at this point regarding uh, red team functionalities, pricing, et cetera. Uh, we're always there to answer your questions. But most of all, your representative at Action can certainly help you on all of that. Thank you, Frederick. That was very, that was very good. Um, Lauren, I wanted to open it up. Hopefully you can hear me um, to see if there were any questions. I do not have any questions at this moment, no. Okay. Frederick, you must have covered it all so completely. <laughs> <laughs> do you guys have any questions you want me to touch on on this as far as what you've seen? Um, maybe we can just talk a little bit about it and kind of reiterate that there's an integration with Sage um, uh -huh. and uh, with both Sage 300 and Sage 100 contractor. And then also maybe um, that we can talk a little bit about kind of the customers that, um, that are, are using the software, just the types of customers and so forth, maybe a little bit? Sure, sure. I mean, the, the, the Sage integration, um, again, you, we, we connect at the project level. Uh, so whenever you have a project you want to connect to Sage, uh, you simply enter the Sage uh, project number and, and Red Team will attach it to your project in Sage. It will import all the job costs uh, from Sage. It will export to Sage commitments, uh, invoices, uh, new vendors, et cetera, will be pushed into Sage. So very seamless. You don't have to go back and forth into system. Uh, they really talk to one another quite dynamically. Um, as far as the clients I use Red Team, like I said earlier, <clears throat> most of our customers are GCs. Um, we have a, a few what we consider specialty subs that would contract directly with the owner, also use subs themselves. Um, as far as the range of the companies, you know, pretty broad range between three million to, because like our largest client that's I think close to seven hundred million dollars a year in business, so it's a very broad range. Um, you know, our suggestion is always doesn't hurt to have a conversation to learn more about 
what the product can do relative to the needs you have, um, you know, or, or experience in adapting technology for construction is really to start with a glance over all the different workflows you have and, and, and see well, where are my risks and where are the things I'm not totally sure it's being handled the way I, I think it should be in order to capture all the information I need. Um, so that's typically a really good starting point uh, in order to figure out what is the right technology to adopt for your organization. That's great. One of the other things that I think um, for the folks that are on the call, um, this being a web-based or cloud product, it's a way certainly of extending your Sage software, which might be on your server or on-premise, out to the field. Absolutely, without a doubt. Um, you know, what, what we often say is you know, a lot of GCs are afraid of three things. Uh, they're, they're afraid of the sky falling, going bankrupt, and their accountants. Um, you know, the, the, the last thing the PM wants to do is have to go and, 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 and disrupt the, the accounting team workflow by saying, hey, you know, can you give me an update on the, on the financials on this project? I, I want to make sure everything is up to speed. With Red Team, that, that problem is gone. You simply click on a couple of buttons, you can see where the project sits overall. So, you know, really important to be able to be able to do that at your fingertips. You know, um, you know it's, it's 6 in the morning, you're getting your day started and you want to quickly see where you're at, it's, it's, it's really convenient. 